Hey everyone, it's Adi Lee here from One Number. Today we're going to take a look at freezing a total row in a text table in Tableau. So you might be familiar with this in Excel. Uh, if you you know set up your table and you scroll down, you'll notice that our little totals table is frozen, and that's because it's simple enough as saying, "Hey, freeze the top row," and Excel does just that. But what might be interesting to you is in Tableau out of the box totals don't actually have that kind of functionality. You can move your totals to the top or to the bottom, but the minute you start scrolling, those totals don't freeze, right? They just move, they just act as the first row or the last row in the table, which can be a little bit frustrating, I guess, especially if you're trying to present your data in, uh, in a tabular format, and there's lots of information and your end users have to scroll. So you can set up something that looks something like this, in Tableau, so you'll notice we've got our text table here, we've got our products, and then we've got our totals. So this kind of works the same way as it does in Excel, and the only option that I'm gonna sort of leave up to you is to choose whether you want your measures, right in our case, profit, quantity, and sales at the top above the total column, uh, or above the actual row level information, like we would have it in Excel, right? So. Hey, that's something to, to think about. So let me show you how we're gonna do this. The first is to create row level information. So this would just be setting up your text table. So drag your dimensions onto rows and columns, whatever you wanna use. Our case is pretty simple. We're just gonna do sales, quantity, and profit, right? Something like that. And then we want our totals column. Uh, so let's do this. Okay. Now I'm going to drag sales, double click on quantity, double click on profit. Um, and you'll notice that Tableau defaults to setting this up as rows. So I'm just gonna drop measure names onto columns like that. Okay, so far so good. Um, but the one thing that I wanna make super clear right now is that these are totals. So we could try and get it to say total profit, total quantity, total sales. We could set up calculated fields to do that. But in my one, I just had a little uh, row that said total, right? And that is as simple as creating a little calculated field. We'll call it total text and literally just input the field. I mean, just input the string total and we're gonna hit okay. And I'm gonna drop that onto rows. And that's our super advanced worksheet that we're gonna play around with. This is interesting to you. Why not come join us for a Tableau class? Uh, we'd love to have you with us. Or if you just need a little bit of help, we do offer hands-on hour by hour help. So you can book an office hour with me or with Eric and we'd love to, to help you wherever we can. And if you've got a project that you want us to help you work with, you're welcome to reach out. Okay, let's finish this off. So at this point, I'm gonna build a dashboard I'm gonna drag in our row level info and our totals column, I'm just gonna drop above it and we're gonna resize these things as we go. So the first thing that I think is worth saying is let's make both of these fit width, right? Uh, okay, there we go. And I'm gonna drag this right up to the top. Um, now we're gonna play around with where you want your totals. I think it probably makes the most sense for our totals to be I mean, for our titles, not total, for our titles to be up at the top rather than down in the middle. So I'd probably just hide this title here, right? Right click and hide. Oh, interesting. Right click, hide title. Okay, that's fine. Um, then we probably need to decide where we want those headings to be. So in my little table that I set up here, I've got total, profit quantity and sales right up at the top. You might want that. Uh, rather to be over here, profit, quantity, sales. I'll show you how to do that way and you can kind of work it out. It's pretty much as easy as right clicking and uncheck show header up at the top. And I'm gonna do the same for total text. So right click and uncheck, I mean check hide field labels for rows. You can see we're kind of getting somewhere there. So maybe we should, let's just resize this as much as we can. I think what I would do Hmm. I think what I'm gonna do is try and get rid of those lines above and below total, you see that? So I'm just gonna right click and format. I'm gonna go over here to lines and let's take out the zero lines. I think these are row and column dividers, hmm. maybe. 
Access text, none. Let's just get rid of these totals, pain, none. Okay. You always gotta just click around a little bit with this stuff and we'll find it. All right, I think those are gone. So I think that that works relatively well. We can rename this to something a little bit more appropriate. Um, I don't know, product, <laughs> product information, something super exciting. Product information is what we, where we're gonna go. Um, right, what else do we need to think about? I think the biggest is probably just the sizing, right? So total, this isn't lined up quite well. Uh, this, these uh, product names are a little bit funky. So I'm gonna drag out product name a little bit, make sure we can see all of that information. And I'm gonna drag this little total uh, section to the same place that I dropped the product names. So you can see I've kind of overshot a little bit. So we can work that out exactly. But that seems pretty good to me. So I just wanna make sure that these numbers line up and they're not quite perfect just yet. And the reason they're not quite perfect is because I have a little scroll bar on this one, but I don't have a scroll bar in this worksheet. So what I'm gonna do is play around with our sizing, uh, our padding, in order to get that working just fine. So I'm gonna click on our product information worksheet, right, our totals worksheet. I'm gonna go to our layout. I'm gonna choose some, hmm, maybe some inner padding. I don't think it matters too much actually for our purposes. I'm gonna uncheck all sides equal, and I'm just gonna input like 15 on the right. So I'm trying to shift all the information to the right. I think we need to go even further. So my sort of brief test was just to see, hey, where does the outside of that number fall? So yeah, that seems like it maybe could go in one or two points more, um, but we don't have to sweat it too much. You know, maybe let's just choose 22 and that's probably lined up just fine. Okay, nice. That's not bad. As we scroll, that sits pretty, pretty solidly. We can always go back to this worksheet and edit the size of that uh, total on the text if we want. Um, I think I'm kind of happy with that at the moment though. So just letting you know that is, that is uh, something to think about. The last thing that I wanna show you in this video is when you apply a filter, so let's say in this worksheet, we're gonna say go to sheet, Mm -hmm. Let's filter this by order date. So I'm gonna right click on order date, show the filter, go back here, hit the drop down, filters, year of order date, okay. Let's drop this in and let's just choose single value list. By default, this is only gonna apply, oh, I've used this measure already, okay. Uh, this By default, this would only apply, this is what it would look like initially, this would only apply to one worksheet, right? Not both. Now, because I'd already loaded this up and used the same filter to filter my other uh, dashboard, it automatically applied to both. But a heads up that your filters are only gonna apply to one of the sheets. If you want them to apply to the totals and the row level information, hit the drop down, go to apply to worksheets, and we'll select the worksheets that we want. So in our case, I also want the totals column. Let's hit okay and now those are gonna change. Okay, so a little recap, what's the most important thing here? The most important thing, I think, is getting your sizing and formatting correct. This could be on a person-by-person -person basis. You might want this uh, shaped a little bit differently. Maybe you want your totals at the bottom. Maybe you want your totals at the top, frozen, different sizes. You want uh, the measure names up at the top. Uh, however it would be, play around with those and see how it works. But hopefully this is a useful tip. And uh, if you've got any questions, pop them in the comments below. We'll get back to you as soon as we can. And if there's anything else that you'd like to cover, like us to cover, uh, pop that in the comments too. And we'll, we'll definitely get our way over to those. Awesome. See you next time.